Hi, I'm Ryan Lagarde. And I'm Craig Tovey. And welcome to Storytime with Ryan Lagarde. And Craig Tovey. Today's book is... <gasps> the, the Little, Little Red Hen. Hen. By Paul Galdon. <laughs> you remember? No. The other book we did it, Paul Galdon. <laughs> what is that? People love it. You don't... Ah, if you say so. Let's get started. The, the Little, Little Red Hen. Hen. By Paul Galdon. <laughs> Once upon a time, a cat and a dog, and a mouse, and a little red hen, all lived together in a cozy little house. The cat liked to sleep all day on the soft couch. The dog liked to nap all day on the sunny back porch. And the mouse liked to snooze all day in the warm chair by the fireside. Jeez! Well, I think we all know where this is headed, right? The hen is fast asleep. No, no, the hen is doing all the work. I can't have everybody sleeping. This isn't a sleep house. Or is it? Sleep house in, in the, the middle, middle of the street. street. Sleep, sleep house. So the little red hen had to do all the housework. What did I tell you, okay? Not a sleep house. Or is it? No, sleep no, it's not. It's not. No. She cooked the meals and washed the dishes and made the beds. She swept the floor and washed the windows and mended the clothes. Well, that was a lot of work, but I'm sure she's done now. Oh no. We've only just begun to clean. She raked the leaves and mowed the grass and hoed the garden. One day, when she was hoeing the garden, she found some grains of wheat. Who will plant this wheat? cried the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Each morning, the little red hen watered the wheat and pulled the weeds. Right. Good thing she's not watering the weeds and pulling the wheat. <laughs> Good joke, Craig. A ball got down. <laughs> Who is that? Man! Soon the wheat pushed through the ground and began to grow tall. When the wheat was ripe, the little red hen then asked, Who will cut this wheat? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Wow, she is not getting any help. I guarantee you, on the very next page, these little three rascals are gonna help out. Guaranteed. Strong words from Ryan Lagarde. When the wheat was all cut, the little red hen asked, Now, who will take the wheat to the mill to be ground into flour? Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Then I will, said the little red hen. And she did. Guaranteed, huh? You know what? I meant the next page. I thought the pages were stuck together, so like, coming up. Yeah. Guaranteed! The little red hen returned from the mill, carrying a small bag of fine white flour. Who will make a cake from this fine white flour? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the mouse. Jeez. Next page, next page, next page. Just keep it rolling. Let's move through, let's move through. Let's Ryan, just... guaranteed. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. She gathered sticks and made a fire in the stove. Then she took milk and sugar and eggs and butter and mixed them in a big bowl with the fine white flour. When the oven was hot, she poured the cake batter into a shining pan and put it in the oven. Soon, a delicious smell filled the cozy little house. The cat got off the soft couch and strolled into the kitchen. Ooh la la. The dog got up from the sunny back porch and came into the kitchen. Ooh. I want to see the story of the caterpillar, the bird, and the ant. That would be awesome. Could be the newest book from Paul Gowden. What are you doing? Saying his name funny. Ryan, that's my thing. I say the author's name's funny. First time I'm hearing of this. What? The mouse jumped down from his warm chair and scampered into the kitchen. That's better than cheese. The little red hen was just taking a beautiful cake out of the oven. Who will eat this cake? Asked the little red hen. Let me guess what they're gonna say. No, Craig, they are not gonna jump on this cake train, okay? They didn't do anything to help. Ryan, I don't think- Guarantee! I will, cried the cat. I will, 
cried the dog. I will, cried the mouse. I might not know what guaranteed means. That's what I thought. But the little red hen said, All by myself, I planted the weed, I tended the weed, I cut the weed, I took the weed to the mill to be ground into flour. All by myself, I gathered the sticks, I built the fire, I mixed the cake, and all by myself, I'm going to eat it. Little red hen teaches some tough lessons. She's not going to eat it all, though, because she's going to share it still. I'm not going to say guaranteed. Good. For sure. And so she did to the very last crumb. Well, Ryan? Yep, told ya. Do you remember what side you're on? No, I do not. That makes sense. After that, whenever there was work to be done, the little red hen had three very eager helpers. Ryan, are you okay? You look sad. I'm a sleep house. Sleep house. In, In the, the middle, middle of the street, sleep house. <laughs> Woo! The, the little, little red hen. hen. By Paul Galdone. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching Storytime with Ryan Lagarde and Craig Toby. We'll see you next time. I'll go down. <laughs> you don't. From the beginning of the book, you don't remember? Today. I've literally never, ever heard you say that before in my life. That doesn't make any Guarantee. sense. Guarantee.